OpenAI have just recently updated their package in the NPM library to version 4. If you're currently running version 3 and want to update to version 4, this will break your code. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what to change to get your code working again. So let's start by running npm init y just to initialize a new npm project. That should create a package.json file for us. And then from here, we're going to install a few libraries. So npm i, we're going to have open AI, express, body parser, and also env. So once they've installed, we should see them inside of here. And I'm just going to create a new file in here called .env. And inside of there, I'm going to put my OpenAI API key. So let's now create an index.js file. And this is where we're going to create our API. So let's start by importing some libraries. So const OpenAI is going to be equal to require OpenAI. Const express. It's going to be equal to require express const body parser is require body parser and then we're going to import our dot env file so we say require dot env dot config and this dot config will just tell it to look in the root for the dot env file if we have the dot env file in a different location then we can add that into our config here Okay, so now let's tell it which port we want to use. So const port is going to be equal to process.env.port. If that doesn't exist, then we're going to use port 3000. And now we're going to initialize our application. So const app is equal to express. And then we want to start telling it to use some middleware. So app.usebodyparser.json. And now that we've initialized the application, we can start initializing OpenAI. So to do this, we say const OpenAI is equal to new open AI. And that's going to take in an API key. And that's going to be from our API key we stored in our env file. So from here, I'm going to create a single endpoint. So we're going to say app.post. And this is just going to be called message. So the path is message. And that's going to be an asynchronous request. And that's going to take in a request and return a response. And then our const response is going to be equal to openai.chat.completions.create. And inside here, we need to specify a model. That model is going to be equal to GPT-4. And then we need to tell it which messages to use. So we have a messages key here, and that's going to be an array. And the array will take in an object and we'll have a role of user. So this is the content coming from the user. And then the content of that message will be from the request.body.message. And then we can close that array off, close off this response. So once we get a response back, we can send it to the customer. So we can say res.send, and then we'll have an object here called message. And that message will be the response dot choices and we're going to take the first option inside of that because it actually returns an array and then dot message dot content and that's the endpoint actually created so from there we just need to start the application to do that we say app dot listen and then we're just going to console log out that the server is actually running so with postman open let's hit send so I've just said, hello, can you help me? It goes, of course I can help, what do you need assistance with? And we can see here that it's console logged, how can you help me? If you found this video useful, consider hitting the subscribe button here. If you want to learn more about JavaScript and ChatGPT, check out this video here. Thank you for watching.